If there's one feature that'll save you the most time while working in ZenKit, it's the filter. ZenKit's powerful filters are a fantastic way to drill down into your data. No matter how complex your collections are, you'll always find what you need. Click on the filter icon to start a simple search for items inside your collection. Right now, I'm looking for items labeled high priority. This search bar will find any word, number, or symbol inside any field in your collection. You might want your search to be a little more precise though. This is where conditions come in. You can add a search condition for any field in your collection. And you can add as many conditions as you need. You can change the operators in each condition to suit your needs. And you can also combine conditions using AND or OR operators to narrow or broaden your search. If you need to use a filter regularly, in a development or customer collection for example, you can save it. Click on Save As and then give your filter a name. Hit Enter to save. You can set saved filters to be public or private. Public filters will be able to be used by every member of a collection. Private filters will only be seen by the user that creates them. This can be especially helpful for managers who need a quick overview of progress in the last week, or just to show tasks assigned only to you that are still to do. To return a collection to normal, click the green X. When you open filters again, you can either create a new filter or click on the drop down menu to access save filters. As you can see, the filter feature is extremely powerful but very simple to use. However, you should keep in mind that the filter is only as good as your collection structure. This is why it's so important to choose the right fields for your data.